been to the Universal Orlando Resort many, many times. However, I have not been there in over three years, and I wanted to do a video ranking my top 10 rides there. However, I have not been there in over three years, like I said earlier. There's obviously new stuff, and since I was a lot younger, I did not get to ride many of the larger attractions. So I enlisted my good friend, Tyler from Coaster Craziness, to help me out with this video since he was just there earlier this month. We both did some thinking and talking, and we came up with a good top 10 list to present to you guys. So without further ado, let's get into the top 10 rides at the Universal Orlando Resort. Starting the list off at number 10, we have the Amazing Adventures of Spider-Man at Islands of Adventure. This is a fantastic dark ride that opened in Islands of Adventure's opening year of 1999. This dark ride is obviously themed to the superhero himself, Spider-Man, and sits in Marvel's Superhero Island, which features plenty of other world-class attractions that we will get to later. But yeah, this thing is awesome, and that's really all there is to it. At number 9, we have Dudley Do-Right Trips Off Falls at Islands of Adventure. This classic boat ride is obviously themed to the 1999 film Dudley Do-Right. This ride is truly an icon for that section of the park, with its drop and airtime hill being a centerpiece for Toon Lagoon. At number 8, we have Jurassic Park River Adventure at Islands of Adventure. Located in the Jurassic Park area, this classic boat ride has some awesome dinosaur animatronics, really fun show scenes, and a pretty good final drop that won't soak you as much as you think. But that definitely isn't a bad thing. This was one of the rides that I really enjoyed that I wasn't expecting to like so much, but it's super fun, and I recommend you check it out after staring in awe at Velocicoaster in the exact same area. At number 7, we have the Simpsons ride at Universal Studios. This motion simulator dark ride is pretty much a giant party. Nothing makes sense whatsoever, but it is still so much fun. I really can't say anything else about this ride other than the fact that it's well-themed and just so much fun. Number 6 is Escape from Gringotts at Universal Studios Florida. This ride has some really cool effects, but sadly it has 3D glasses. Nonetheless, it is a great coaster slash dark ride. It opened in the Diagon Alley section of the park on July 8th to 2014 and sports some small drops and awesome show scenes. Overall, I recommend you check it out, but try and hit it when the line isn't as long. However, if you do get stuck in a long line, you get to stare in awe at the Gringotts Bank. What else could you ask for? At the number 5 spot, we have Revenge of the Mummy at Universal Studios. Mummy is a well-themed Premier Rides launch coaster with stats that will make you think it's a family coaster. However, the layout will tell you otherwise. Despite this coaster's very short track length, it features a plethora of intense turns, a few surprising airtime moments, and even a very fun backwards section. Number 4 is an awesome ride, Harry Potter and the Forbidden Journey at Islands of Adventure. This ride has some of the coolest effects out of all of the park. In my opinion, this ride really stands out. It opened on June 18th, 2010, and has some awesome show scenes. To me, this ride is such a fun time, and as a Harry Potter fan, I might come to appreciate it a little more than someone who doesn't watch Harry Potter. But overall, it's such a great time, and it's an awesome journey you take. Make sure to check it out. Starting off our top three is Hagrid's Magical Creatures Motorbike Adventure. Putting this awesome coaster this low makes me a little bit salty. If it were up to me, this coaster would be far and away at the number one spot. Hagrid's may not be the tallest, fastest, longest, steepest, most intense, most inversions, most airtime. However, it still is an awesome ride. This coaster's theming is out of this world. This coaster doesn't even feature a single screen throughout the entire ride. It features animatronics and actual buildings. How awesome is that? The Wizarding World of Harry Potter needed a standout attraction after Dueling Dragons closed, and this coaster gladly takes that role. Almost everybody seems to love it. Yes, I may be a little bit biased since I am a huge Harry Potter fan, and Hagrid's is one of my favorite characters. Nonetheless, this is definitely one of the best roller coasters in the world. Our runner-up is actually my personal favorite ride at the resort. It's Hollywood Rip Ride Rocket at Universal Studios Florida. I used to make fun of this ride all the time. I mean, why wouldn't I? It's got a lift hill steeper than the drop, a very interesting five brake runs, you heard that right, five, and a really strange layout. But I don't understand why it's so hated. This thing gives some strong airtime. 
It opened on August 19th, 2009, and has been thrilling guests that entire time. This thing is a GP magnet, and I totally understand why. It's got a steep lift hill, it's the tallest ride in the park, and it's right at the front. I feel like for this reason it gets hate from enthusiasts that it totally does not deserve. It's got some awesome airtime moments, intense helixes, and onboard audio, which really can change the experience. And the crown jewel for rides at the Universal Orlando Resort is the Incredible Hulk Coaster. This B&M sit-down coaster originally opened in 1999 at Islands of Adventure. This coaster is second to none when it comes to intensity at the Universal Orlando Resort. Yeah, I know that I said that I would put Hagrid's at the number one spot, but it and Hulk are insanely close. It honestly differs day to day. Nonetheless, no matter what coaster you think should come in at the number one spot, I think we can all agree on how awesome Incredible Hulk is. Well, that's gonna do it for my video ranking the top 10 rides at the Universal Orlando Resort. Once again, thank you to Coaster Craziness for helping out with this. Be sure to subscribe to his channel by clicking the link in the description. Let me know what your favorite ride at the resort is in the comments down below. Also, be sure to leave this video a like, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you next time on Hang Time Thrills. I like